Hello and what's up madlang people? Uh, it's been a long time, isn't it? Um, I was just busy with work. I know there are quite a few uh, questions, requests on my YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram and my Facebook page and I couldn't cope um, doing your requests or if I get the chance I do answer your questions. Uh, today I wanted to share to you uh, this was a question by Dennis and he saw my um, video about the karaoke um, improvised using iPad so he asked me um, a question about um, if you're a performer what can you suggest uh for a performer to use like an ipad or a tablet and then the backing track and um the setup itself because that one that he saw was more on karaoke so i tweak it a bit the karaoke setup to suit uh performers um requirements so um it's almost identical but um, I found some extra uh, tips that might help you guys as well. Um, so first is this one, a tripod. But it's not going to be used as a uh, tripod for camera. Because I bought this one. It's a iPad holder by Olansi. And it's also dual purpose for... Um, iPhone or your phone, your Android. If you stretch this one down, it it can accommodate a tablet or iPad. I've got a review on this one, and I'll put the link on the description below. This one as well, the tripod. It's a heavy duty tripod, but it's a cheap uh, tripod. So I got a review on this one as well. I'll put the link. It's Zume. This one's Ulanzi. Right, having said that, obviously we will be needing our iPad. Uh, I don't have a tablet at the moment. And um, by the way also, because I'm uh, working with Becca, uh, a singer. And um, she's also planning to buy a Kindle, I think, uh, Fire HD. And yeah, I, I haven't tried it. Um, but I think it's the same idea. We'll be using it for the lyrics of the song and then hoping that, that the Kindle um, got an auto scroll so that the lyrics will just go up while you're singing. Uh, we'll we'll uh, talk more about that one in a short while. So for now, it's the iPad that we will be using uh, for our lyrics and um, we'll be talking about backing tracks as well next would be your connections so it depends on what speaker you're gonna be using you might need this headphone uh, lead to connect your ipad via the headphones out and then going to the speaker it depends on what your speaker will require so most of the auxiliary in box in of your speaker your active speaker is this one it's a 3.5 millimeter but sometimes it also got an rca so it's that red and uh, white and the 3.5 again so that it's still gonna come out from the headphones out then the aux in or auxiliary in using RCA or phono. Um, having said that, we've got the speaker that we will be using. It's the Roland Cube uh, CM30. And at the back, this is the RCA. And on the side there, that's your 3.5 stereo input. Okay? And then you got it here. So that's basically our setup. We get an active speaker, then we got our iPad stand with holder and our iPad. Um, 
if you don't have the tripod with the iPad holder, there's an improvised version to it and it's the music stand. This is from TGI. I bought this ages ago. I sell the music but it's also handy to share to you that this is also another option where once you assemble this one there we go there we go you can just put your iPad like that right and there's also this one the good thing with this is that if you got a music sheet you can just put it there and you can even put the iPad on top of it and then just keep swapping whichever you prefer uh, you can use this as your backing track while the lyrics is on your music sheet so yeah this is another option okay guys so we'll do this with the ipad now if you are not gonna use uh, the internet your best way is to use the pages this one and then i already uploaded this but if you want to know it's just going to your um if you click your pages you need to locate um where your files are so i i got it in my downloaded files i got this one make you feel my love the lyrics is there so if you want to use the auto scroll click these three dots here and then you need to go to the presenter mode click presenter mode and it's like that now you can adjust the size by clicking that one if you want a smaller or a bigger size uh, font and then you can edit this one as well uh, the font itself um, background oh, and then the auto scroll so if it's off normally if you it's your first time to open your pages it's off turn it on you can adjust the speed if the song is um, a bit slow you can go towards turtle if it's a bit fast go to the rabbit then once you click it this goes automatically then uh, for some reason that the words are getting uh, faster or you're behind it just tick it it will pause and press again it will auto scroll then pause again auto scroll okay so it's quite easy it's quite handy now so that's from pages and it's very handy so the other one that you can use is the ultimate guitar this one and then it's quite easy but you will be needing the internet for this and you need some sort of subscription but let's say the same song make you feel my love that's the one and then by Adele for example chords just okay so because i'm not uh, i didn't pay for this one it's the free version uh there's ads and i can't use the auto scroll if i click auto scroll here it wants me to subscribe which is one year for 39.99 or monthly of 5.99 okay there's a trial as well uh, i'm not interested in it but that's uh, an added feature because you'll be using your internet when you use this one so that's another option guys last but not the least is the box box.com so i've got the lyrics here i can expand it there we go and 
I've got the option to make this available offline so I don't need the internet with this one I can just keep saving on box the, the lyrics chords and I can use it but it doesn't have the auto scroll as well uh, this the simplified version um, no auto scroll I can change the background um, the font is uh, when you save it so but you can pinch to zoom and you can just do that or if it's two pages I think you can just slide it now let's talk about backing track if you're using your iPad you can use GarageBand and on GarageBand I got my backing tracks here there so yeah I got my backing tracks here make you feel my love and then there you go so I can click that one as my backing track or better yet save this one and put it in my box here um, backing track there we go and make you feel my love or in this case you can play your backing track and then it still goes on and you can go and locate your lyrics if you're using the internet you can like what i i normally do i got my own backing track uh youtube channel it's this one there so i use my own backing tracks here and if i play my backing track sometimes i already put lyrics if i didn't put the lyrics i just uh, put it in the comment um, box so let's find it make you feel my love um, So this is where my backing tracks are there you go that's the one there you are so if you're using the internet you can use YouTube for your backing track as well as your lyrics just keep building your backing track you can omit the guitar solo and then once it's the guitar solo part then you'll be the one playing it so you can make use of youtube as your online backing track okay so that's it for now guys i hope it helps um, answer your question about um, putting your backing track your lyrics uh, on the ipad and use it as your a guide or backing track slash your music sheet uh, when you're performing thanks for watching guys uh, i would really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so that you get notified each time uh, i'm posting new videos and it helps me a lot guys if you subscribe and if you got any suggestions or um, questions just leave in the comments section and I'll get back to you whenever I can. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much and God bless. See you soon. Bye.